Hey everyone, my name is Jonathan Mio. I'm the director of the Santa Fe College Teaching Zoo and the Zoo Animal Technology Program here at Santa Fe College. We're going to show you a video of a student lifting a 50 pound bag. She's going to lift that bag repeatedly in a very safe manner. It's important for you to follow our technique here as you are working towards the Zoo Animal Technology Program. Our technique is meant to not only make sure you have the strength to do the job, but also that you are doing so safely. This is a standard requirement of just about any animal care position out there. Some zoos require 50 pounds, 75 pounds, or 100 pound lifts. Here at Santa Fe College Teaching Zoo, we are using 50 pounds. Watch this video, and we will talk about this in the future, and hopefully this leads to many a safe lifting opportunity for you. This is an example of the 50 pound bag we use here at Santa Fe College Teaching Zoo. It's a it's a bag of rice. Um, you're going to have to purchase your own bag to ensure that you practice on your own. What we recommend is something like this, like rice or potentially dog food or something like that. Something will actually move around when you pick it up. It can't be a small bag or compact bag like concrete. It's too hard, too heavy, and doesn't give the right feel for when you, you pick it up and move it around. So you can find this uh, fairly cheap. I wouldn't spend a lot of money, but um, uh, you definitely will need to purchase your own bag so you continue to practice. So here you have an example of one of our students lifting the bag. So we'll show you how to lift the bag correctly several times, and then at the end we'll show you a couple of incorrect uh, lifts. So first she was in that squat that... Uh, lunge position and you can see one knee is on the ground and one knee is straight forward and so whichever knee you feel more comfortable in whichever position that is your decision you can do that so here you'll see she'll she does the same knee down um, she does her left knee down and then she gets underneath the bag to move around right she can you can straighten the bag up but gets underneath cradles under the bag brings it to one knee brings it up to the second knee all right and then onto the shoulder stable on the shoulder and then lifts up okay so you have to do the lift in this exact way so that we know you're doing it safely and effectively so i'll go over those parts again so again notice the wide base on her legs gives you a lot a nice stable base and the ability to, to push off really easily so cradles under the bag, onto one knee, cradle onto the next knee, cradle underneath the bag, up onto your shoulder, on the shoulder, and then stand. You cannot do it all together all at once. You don't have the bag down at your waist when you're standing. You have to do it in this uh, position. Okay, so just a few things here. Notice um, her back foot on this. I want you to notice that she pushes off with that back foot, but it's the toes. She's right there on the ground, you can see the toes on the ground. She's going to push off with the toes. Her foot is not, the top of the foot is not on the ground. We've been seeing a lot of this recently. People have the top of their foot on the ground pushing off. That means you don't have enough strength to do this lift. And on this last one, I just wanted to show you, um, I want you to look at her back. So again, she's adjusting the bag. She gets it up to where she needs to. But when she's ready to lift, her back is nice and straight. That's what we're looking for. That means, again, you've got the strength in your legs to just push straight up off the ground. You're not having to lean way forward in order to lift this bag. This is a much safer lift. Next, I want to show you how not to lift the bag. These are things we're not looking for. First, she's lifting the bag from the top with her hands. That puts tremendous, tremendous pressure on your lower back. It also can rip the bag open, so that's not something we want. The next thing I want you to notice is right here. She drops the bag off of her shoulder before she actually goes back down. When you're completing this lift, you need to go back down and then take it off your shoulder, put it onto your knee and the other knee in the ground. You want to do it in reverse. So on this next lift, again, she's lifting from the top of the bag, which is uh, incorrect and not exactly what we're looking for, not what we're looking for at all. Her knee and her foot are very close to each other. No, she scooted them in. When you do that, that puts, again, a lot of pressure on your back, and it's hard to do that lift. So that's something that we are not looking for. All right. And then on this final lift, what you'll see is, again, she lifts the bag incorrectly with the to from the top. Then uh, when she goes to stand, she takes a step to the left. 
You can't take any steps to the left, to the back, to the right. She takes that step right there to the left. That is incorrect. So that means that she is having problems with this. That means she's having problems actually doing the lift the way it is intended. The only other thing we don't have an example of is when you do stand, you cannot put your hand on anything. You can't put your hand on your knee or the ground or anything to stabilize yourself. So that is again something that we see fairly frequently. So if you are following our instructions well and these demonstrations, then we are looking forward to you having a nice, long, safe, healthy life of lifting bags safely and efficiently.